guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah and I like to make YouTube videos. So this is gonna be my second Halloween look for the Halloween season. Last week I did a Harley Quinn pop art style look. So if you wanna see that, I will make sure to link that somewhere down below or whatever. But for this week, I am gonna be doing this sort of mermaid inspired look. I am using a little bit darker colors rather than sort of the lighter pastel colors. I'm sure a lot of people have been seeing. So if you guys are interested in seeing this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by priming my lids with the Arbonne Prime and Proper eyeshadow primer and then I'm just gonna quickly set that with the Cover FX blotting powder just to make sure all of the shadows blend nicely afterwards. So going into the Balm Nude Tude palette I'm gonna take the shade Sultry and just apply that into the crease and blend it out. Now going into the Tarte Swamp Queen palette, I'm going to take the shade Man Cat and just apply that to the inner and outer corners of the eye to create a halo effect. Once I have that applied, I'm just going to blend the inner parts of the shadow with the same brush. Going back into the palette from the balm, I'm gonna take the shade Sexy and apply that to the same areas that we applied Man Cat and blend it out. Now going back into the Swamp Queen palette, I'm going to take the shade Sassy Bun and I'm going to spray that with a Wet n Wild setting spray and then pat it on to the center of the lid. Since I thought I kind of lost some of the purple, I'm just going to go ahead and reapply that. Now just taking some tape and applying it to the side of the eye to make a sharp line, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen and create a wing. Now going back to the shade Man Cat from the Swamp Queen palette, I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of the lower lash line. Adding more of that purple shade and blending it out. Now I'm gonna take the highlight Gator Wings from the Swamp Queen palette and apply that to the center of the lid and also a little bit on my nose. I'm actually gonna take a mermaid scale stencil that I got from a Halloween kit from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna apply that to the forehead and then grab my Morphe 35U eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna dip into a bunch of the different darker green shades and apply those first to the base of my forehead and then moving on to mixing some of the purple shades and applying those next in a gradient style so that the green fades into the purple. Now I'm gonna place the stencil where normally I would contour under the cheekbones. I'm gonna do the exact same method with the greens and the purples, making them fade nicely into one another. Doing the same thing on the jawline. And finally placing it on the side of the neck just underneath the jawline. Now 
Now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges surrounding the scales on the neck. So for nose contour, I'm gonna go back into the Swamp Queen palette and take the shade Man Cat and just contour my nose. Now grabbing another stencil from the same Wet n Wild Halloween kit. This is a stencil of a starfish. I'm just gonna apply that to the cheekbone. Taking the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with a brush just in the area where I put the starfish stencil. Taking a loose glitter from BH Cosmetics, this is the gold loose glitter. I'm going to pack that on with my finger. Going back into the Gator Wings highlight from the Swamp Queen palette, I'm just going to quickly highlight my cheekbones as well as my nose. So I just quickly applied some lashes and mascara off camera and now I am going to line the outer corner of my waterline with the Rodeal Smoky Eye Pen and this is just a black eyeliner. So here you can see that I'm deciding which lipstick I'd like to use, whether to use the Ultra Matte Lip in LAX from ColourPop or to use the Ultra Satin in Femme. I've decided that I'm going to line my lips with LAX and fill it in with Femme. but now you can see here that I didn't really like it that much, so I just completely filled everything in with LAX. So that is it for this look, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below anything else you wanna see from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Peach. Thank you.